discouraging, and I want to bring some positivity, and that's why we're out here today trying to make a change. A call for change. Dozens gather for a vigil for Breonna Taylor in Fresno. The vigil also calling for an end to racial inequality, an issue that hits close to home after a local black owned business was a target of a hate crime. Thanks for joining us on this Sunday. I'm Kirsten Mitchell. It was held at the Unitarian Universalist Church of Fresno. And that's where Shauna Kalafi is live with more on their message. Shauna. Yeah, they've had similar events here over the past few months supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. But with that recent hate crime that happened in Clovis, they say it's more important than ever to address the issue of racism right here in our community. People lining Alluvial Avenue in Fresno demanding justice for Breonna Taylor, who was killed by Louisville police in her apartment back in March. They didn't get arrested, and that's just crazy to me, and I can't believe that. It's discouraging, and I want to bring some positivity, and that's why we're out here today trying to make a change. The vigil calling for an end to racial inequality, an issue that hits home after a black owned business in Clovis was the target of a hate crime. The owner arriving at her store Saturday morning to find it vandalized and tagged with racist slurs. Vandalism in a shop in our own community is very much tied to the same sentiment that, that showed a lack of regard for Brianna's life. This group of Fresno teens hoping to see change in their community. Making the schools better in low income areas. Also, people being held accountable for their actions. Mm -hmm. That happens a lot in our school districts. Yeah. Where incidents will happen and they're not held accountable. We feel that it's very important to examine how implicit bias, how systemic racism might play a part in the well-being of our, our community members here in Fresno. And so by all means, this is for Brianna, but about something much bigger than that. They say they'll continue to peacefully protest for equal justice for all, no matter the color of their skin. And while this vigil was going on, there were people from their cars yelling, all lives matter. And I'm told a few but mostly it was honks of support. Reporting in Fresno, Shauna Kalafi, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.